you're going to lend her your Terminator Blu-ray? What is that? <laughs> Man, it was like, I, that scene reading that was like so, it just, it made me feel like I was back in high school again. That was so my style. I was like, yeah, I've got like all these DVDs. Well, you can watch it and just tell me about it later. It was like, not a good move on Noah's part. He should have just gone for it. But the scene ended up pretty good in the end. He was, uh, he got to kiss the girl. It was pretty badass. It was awesome. So Noah got um, a really interesting moment in the first episode with the, with the monologue about how we should care about the jog and, and so on. Yeah. Um, when you were reading that that part, did you really like see, ah, this could be a pretty big moment in the episode? Yeah, you know, like even before I got the part and I was auditioning for the show, reading the script, it was that monologue that really kind of made me super excited about it project because it, it became this thing where we really could kind of broach new ground in the slasher genre and, and like to have a slasher movie where you really genuinely want to know what happens not just whether they're going to live or die but like whether these characters are actually going to connect and how they're going to create relationships and how roles are going to change and flip I, I just think that's really exciting to see if we can complete that kind of challenge you know and it would be a really new and exciting TV show so when I read that I was I was super pumped to, to try it out. It's been a lot of fun. So far. Do you think that's one of the major differences from the film? Is that there's more character development because there's more episodes? I think it's definitely uh, something that's a lot more noticeable. It's um, it's awesome because. The episodes are scary and, and exciting, but you don't necessarily know when you have an episode exactly how much horror is going to be there. And uh, and the show itself is so cool because you never really know once the scene starts which kind of genre of TV you're going to be watching. You know, whether it's going to be like Dawson's Creek or whether you're going to be watching like you know Friday the 13th. And I just think that that uh, that does separate it a lot from just features in general. So does that mean? someone doesn't die every episode? That does mean that there are episodes where a lot of it a lot of it is predicated on death, but maybe not necessarily anyone's actually dying because we get now the time to process what's happening and, and really mourn the people who leave and, and really see what the repercussions of that death means to the entire town. And, uh, in that way, it can be a really cool thing. But hopefully, if we have the viewers in our hands, they will be excited to just sit in that in that realm. It would be such a win if we got to have like die-hard horror fans really excited to see if like Will and Emma actually end up reconnecting their relationship and getting pumped about the soapy parts of the show. That would be so cool. Well, what is Carlson's character called? Creepy monologue alert. Yep. So yeah. is the show also calling Noah on his expertise and how he shares his expertise according to the screen formula? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's something where Noah is not above suspicion. There's something a little weird about how much he knows and why does he know so much about the town story. And I think it's an interesting topic that the show delves into is, is uh, how much does everyone know and how much are they actually letting on when they talk to each other and, and as the episodes go on you see stories start to unravel and change and perspectives start to shift and uh, that makes it that makes it a cool ride to get on. It's been so cool. I know that even before the show started, we, we have such an advantage because the movies are so great and solid and, and they like have this worldwide fan base. I know that people in Brazil love the movies and like Russia, they love the movies and, and that's so cool. And so I was really hoping that once the show actually started airing, I was a little nervous, like, oh, what if it's just not what they're expecting? So to see all of the positive feedback and see like, I mean, people on Twitter are just been obsessed with it. and. and and that's so cool to, to see. It's something that every day is like, oh, that's awesome that you know, people are into it.